Do empty walls make your home feel incomplete? Let's talk through the possibilities of what you can do using one person story. I'm Doug Walker, and this is Roominess. Roominess brings you straightforward steps to an inviting home. Click the subscribe button for more bite sized decor advice. You can find newsletters, ebooks, and freebies over on my website. Sherry woke up every morning to a bright but bare bedroom. Two of the walls were completely empty, and the room seemed small. She thought she should put something on the walls, but would more things just make the room feel that much smaller? Sherry wondered if she should buy another house with a bigger bedroom so she wouldn't feel so confined. Well, that's a viable option. You just have to pack up everything you own, move it somewhere else, fight with everyone to change your address, and, oh, spend thousands of dollars. What's the problem? I told Sherry, you really can change your sense of space with what you put on or in front of your walls. A lot of times, it's the combination that's important. You might use curtains, shelves, art, floating shelves, wallpaper, plants, or mirrors. Sherry and I looked together at how these elements could combine in her bedroom. Adding substantial curtains that extend beyond the windows creates instant visual interest and depth. Several patterns and styles could work with Cherry's room and the navy blue bedding that she'd like to keep. On the adjacent wall, I suggested a few different ideas of how Cherry could complement the curtains. A symmetrical arrangement of bookshelves, a floating shelf, and art give the wall dimension in a different way than the fabric folds of the curtains. A set of framed African baskets can pull focus on the wall, but still feel textural because of the muted and natural colors. And Sherry has a green thumb, so she can consider adding plants. Adding a coordinating feature wall color is a possibility. Sherry liked the idea of shadow boxes, but you can see here where one gets easily overwhelmed by the curtains. If you like this idea, you really need to think big. Not just two or four shadow boxes, but probably more like nine in order to visually balance the curtains. And who's going to measure the placement of all those? Sherry could also use some outside-the-box wall pieces. Here is a wall-mounted planter paired with framed art. But it feels like it needs a little more presence and maybe a different balance. Filling visual space doesn't necessarily need to be something mounted to the wall. Here, a floor lamp provides visual balance for the planters shifted to the right side of the art. Ultimately, Sherry didn't like the idea of curtains. They felt heavy to her, and she wanted something lighter. This opens up other possibilities of what you can do with the walls. Using a natural material shade, we can consider a wall covering to bring pattern into the space and create a feature wall. I suggested a bookshelf to keep the pattern from overwhelming the small room, and to provide a visual break between the blue of the bed and the blue of the wall covering. On the adjacent wall, we can again use a lamp to fill visual space. A mirror placed in the corner attractively pulls the blue pattern onto the window wall. Sherry decided she'd really like a more zen bedroom. So how about if we use quieter colors and more natural materials? White Roman shades to begin. Then add a simple screen, a plant, and a sculpture. This is probably enough visual interest, but to keep the walls from confining, we add art pieces for texture adjacent to the window and to the side of the plant. Sherry preferred this last concept, and through the process, she learned how to create depth in her walls in other rooms using these same ideas. Have a look at this next video for more straightforward decor advice. You should watch. It's short. I'll see you there.